Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. I'm doing another video and this is a long video series and we'll start the first one. And This video is um, a whole series about questions I get asked about the flow engine and how things affect flow. And today's topic actually deals with the rock arm stud. This one gets asked the most and the question gets asked, does having the rock arm stud sit too far down the port, does that affect airflow? Well today you're going to find out. Uh, typically when I flow ahead, I'll put the rock arm stud in to where it's flush with the top of the port, so it's right across it. Now I've got this extremely long um, ARP rock arm stud that's used in the AFR heads for their exhaust, so it helps me do this test. And what I'm going to do is the first test I'm going to do, I'm going to do it like normal, just like I do flush the top of the port. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to screw it about a hundred thousandths down. So it should look something like that. And that's going to be the second test. The third test, I'm going to go 200 thousandths down, which is about there. Then, for fun, I'm going to remove the rocker arm stud so you can see how that affects airflow. Now, of course, you can't run an engine without a rocker arm stud, but it gives you something to think about. Um, the way my flow bench works is I've got it set up to take 20 readings every time I press the record button. The reason for that is because you can have power fluctuations that can affect flow numbers and make one or two numbers high. What it does, it'll take the 20 readings and it'll average those, and that's the number it spits out. This keeps things more consistent from day to day, and if it's a small change as far as CFM, you'll see it that way. So, we'll go ahead and get started, and like I said, the first one, flush with the top, 100,000s down, 200,000s down, and you get to see everything that's happening. All right, we'll bring it back to normal real quick. About there, all right, let's begin. By the way, this is that max lift, so this is the best the head's gonna flow. Okay, so here's what you have. This first one is normal, 360. This is 100,000 down and it lost barely a CFM. At 200,000 down, you're losing quite a bit. And finally, without the rocker arm stud, just for something to think about, you lost quite a bit too. Point being is between zero and 100,000, you're not losing much, at least on this head. Now some heads will affect it differently. And I do plan to do a further video using a small block head instead of a big block head. So there's this one. I plan to do another video and maybe drop it later in the week, which deals with spark plugs. 